Hey everybody, today I'm going to review how to read and also how to draw a, uh, a diagram for an audio envelope compressor. Um, so this is similar to the other compression diagrams, but this one shows what the actual audio envelope will look like before and after the compressor. Okay, so imagine this is our waveform right here. Maybe somebody's blowing a note on a trombone or something. You know, and at its loudest point, it gets up to minus two dB. Remember, zero dB. That's that's the limit, right? If it gets louder than that, then it's going to peak and distort our distort on our speakers. So we never want it to get louder than that. This one's getting close but let's say we're going to put a compressor on here and we want to draw what it will end up looking like after the compressor. Okay, so over here I'm going to put my settings. So let's say that our threshold is negative six and let's say that our ratio is two to one. Okay, so first let's, uh, let's draw the threshold on here. I'm going to change my color Okay, I'm going to try and draw it as close as I can. So my threshold is negative six, okay, so that's right here. So that means anything that's above negative six is going to get squashed down. Anything that's below it will be untouched. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a point right here because I know those are the two parts where it goes above the threshold. Okay, and then everything that's below it it's at a two to one ratio, so I need to basically divide it in half. So every time it goes up two, I'm going to redraw it so it only goes up one. So first of all, threshold is negative six. How much higher is it than that? So one, two, three, four. So it goes up four. So I'm going to divide that in half. So what's four divided by in half is two. So that means its highest point is going to reach right there because it gets divided in half. So if I redraw this, I'll go up like this. It's identical, but then it hits the threshold, and now it's going to go like that, and then back to the threshold, and the rest of it is identical. Okay? So what if I wanted to do this same thing? Uh, let's just make a new layer here. What if my threshold was negative 6, and my ratio was 4 to 1? Well, that means that every time it goes up four, in the new one, it's only going to go up one. Okay, so the threshold is still the same, right there and right there. And it goes up one, two, three, four, so that means our highest point is going to be divided by four instead. So what's four divided by four is one. So this new drawing will go like here, reaches the th threshold, and then goes over to that and then it's identical. Okay, so it's kind of sloppy, but hopefully you get the idea. So the higher the ratio, the more it gets squashed. It's still going to go up, but you divide it by that first number. All right, let's try a more complicated one. So let's hide this. Ugh. There. No. There. <laughs> okay, slightly more complicated. Is that the one I want? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's say we have another two, two to one ratio. Threshold negative six, so over here let's draw. Every time it goes over negative six, I'm going to make little marks so I remember. Okay, and then that whole line. Okay, so everything that's below negative six is unchanged. Everything that's above gets divided in half. 2 to 1. So up here, 1, 2, that goes up two lines, so I'm going to divide that in half to 1. And this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. What's 6 divided by 2 is 3. So 1, 2, 3. Okay. Now I'm going to try and draw what the new waveform will look like. So this is all identical. And then here, it goes to that point instead of the high one. The rest of it's identical because it's below the threshold. And then here I go to that point, and then back there, and the rest of it's identical. 
and this it's a straight line at six so that doesn't get changed either okay how would I draw this if I had a different threshold what if the threshold was negative 10 and the ratio is 2 to 1 well let's try that so that means that everything right here basically the whole thing is going to get divided in half so how much higher is this than 10 well 1 2 3 4 5 6 and what's half of 6 3 so 1 2 3 so the peak of that will be right there what about this one 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 what's half of 10 5 so that'll go right there and then right here that goes up to Let's see, one, two, three, four. What's half of four? That is two. So one, two. Okay, so every time I count, I'm starting at the threshold and counting up. So now I can try redrawing this. Connect that, go back to the threshold. Connect that, back to the threshold. There, and then the rest is a straight line, right? Okay, so the red line shows what our waveform will look like after the compressor. Now this last setting is the gain. So gain is how loud can we turn this up before it peaks. Okay, so right now if my gain is at zero, that means it stays exactly how it is. Um, but I could turn this up because this is actually pretty quiet. So I could how, how high could I turn it up? So the highest point is right here, negative 5. So I could go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 until I get to 0 dB. So if my gain is 5, that would be the equivalent of going over here and just moving this whole thing up like that. So the gain affects everything because it happens after the compressor. So that means even these really quiet sounds now get louder. Alright, so let's try another one here. Turn those off. Let's turn that on. Alright, for this one, let's say that my threshold is negative 4 and my ratio is 4 to 1. Okay. So let's go over here and let's find all the spots where it goes over negative 4. That one doesn't. Here it does. Here it does. There it does. And all the rest are below negative 4. So none of those get changed at all. So I can just redraw that exactly. And then, whoops, right here I need to, so this one is 1, 2, 3, 4 above it. So 4 divided by 4 is 1. So I'll redraw it right there. This one goes one above it. So what's one divided by four? That's one fourth. So I'm just going to estimate it. It's right by there. So then let's draw that. The rest of it is unchanged. And this just brings that down. And then there's our new envelope. So with this one, how much gain can I add? Well, I look here. The loudest part is negative three. So I could add one, two, three of gain. And that would mean that I could bring it all up like that. You don't want it louder than that or it'll peak. Okay, last one. What if my threshold is negative 8? Oops. Negative 8 and my ratio is 2 to 1. figure out the gain after that. Okay, negative 8, so let's mark all the spots where it gets louder than 8, so that's right here, and right there, and here, and here. Okay, and then I'm going to start dividing it, so up here it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 divided by 2 is 2, right here it's 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, goes back down. Up here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divided by 2 is 3. 
And what about this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight divided by two is four. And then here it goes down to this point. So that's this. That's one, two, three, four divided by two. Six divided by two. Okay. So those are the points where I'm going to redraw it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Everything below it stays identical, and the rest of it gets squashed down a little bit. Okay? Now, let's look at the highest point. I kind of drew it wrong, but let's uh, assume that it's at negative 4. Um, so that can go up 1, 2, 3, 4, and be at 0. So the gain is 4, so that means we can bring it all up to there. All right. So that's it for compression settings on an audio envelope. And hope that makes sense to you. So go ahead and practice on some of your own graphs. See you next time.